Hey, what's going on? Vega here from Serpentex Special Forces. And just the other day, I did a live stream testing out the AMD RX 6600 XT, a new GPU that AMD released with a handicap memory bus of 128 bit. Now, this is our summary video, and I just want to go over the basics of all the information that I got and all the data. Don't forget that down below, I will be putting my Reddit link where I will have all the data. Now, this is the live stream that I did, had a great time. Um, only tested a few algos, right? So Ethereum, Ravencoin, Ergo. But I have all the data for you. I've been testing over the night uh, while doing my full-time job, so bear with me here. But the best that we were able to get was 33.5 mega hash when I was able to overclock the memory really, really high. Now, I was using the AMD utility instead of MSI Afterburner. Either would work. Just make sure you update your MSI Afterburner. Um, and enable fast timing, of course, with the 6000 GPU and, and even some of the older GPUs, you can enable fast timings on them. Uh, but some people are unable to get 2300 megahertz on memory. And when you hit that limit, if you're able to do it and even maybe go beyond it, you have a golden goose or you won the silicon lottery. So hang on to that GPU. Otherwise, 2200, 2250 on the mem would be good. Dropping the power does show us uh, that this card is pretty efficient. I wouldn't say more efficient than the RX 5600 XT, but it depends on the algorithm. So 33.5 mega hash was the best. On average, I'm averaging around 31 mega hash at 75 watts from the wall. We all me we measured everything from the wall. Uh, Dizzy Mining did put up a uh, vert coin or vert hash today. But remember, this is software power that you're looking at in hardware info. You always want to measure from the wall. And I do have those numbers down below. Ravencoin, the most efficient I could get was about 13 mega hash at 75 watts. Otherwise, uh, you know, doing full tilt stock clocks. Uh, but bumping up the memory and everything did see 170 watts from the wall at 17 mega hash. Then for Ergo, the best I could get was 64 mega hash with 75 watts at the wall. Uh, but uh, at full tilt with the clocks and everything the same, just bumping up the memory, 115 watts with 61.32 uh, mega hash. Now, real quick though, if we bust out a calculator and go back to Ethereum, I want you to see this. So if we're able to get, let's say, 33 mega hash uh, divided by 75 watts, that's 0.44 efficiency as far as hash per watt. But if we take the 43 that the 5600 XT was able to get uh, and divide that by the 88 watts, again, the 5600 XT still wins. Uh, now, I do not have the 5600 XT anymore. If anybody wants to go ahead and test that out on Ergo, I would be interested to see that efficiency. Feel free to comment down below or tag me on Twitter. Uh, so always take the hash rate, divide by the power, and that would give you the efficiency. Um, and the name of the game when it comes to mining is to get the best hash rate for the least amount of power. Now, Ethereum Classic, we did see pretty much the same things as Ethereum, but there are your numbers right there. With Ryo or a Crypto Knight GPU algo type coin like Ryo Conceal Equi uh, Equilibra, I believe that's how we pronounce it. Uh, we got about 2,000 hashes. That's basically it. Uh, lowest I could get was uh, almost 1,400 hashes at 75 watts. Uh, of course, I updated all the miners to the latest version, but not all algorithms were supported. And I do state that in my actual Reddit post, so you're going to have to check that out. And down below this Fero section is going to be all the algos that would work or wouldn't work via Awesome Miner Benchmark at stock clocks with the memory bumped up. If you want, check that out. Again, everything is going to be linked down in the description below. So Vert Hash, uh, basically the same thing as Dizzy Mining, about 500 kilohash. Uh, and, and the lowest I could get was 488, 80 watts, so on and so forth. Now, this 490.1 uh, at 115 was pretty good, uh, but I know that I could get the core down a little bit more. Uh, there's, there's more tuning that could be done with this GPU. I just know that when you go above 2300 mem, the system crashes, you have to reboot. And there was two times that twice where I did reboot, but the card would not be detected and, or excuse me, the, the card was there, the AMD driver uh, or application was, you know how you right click on your desktop and you click on AMD right here? That was there, but the second monitor would not work and the card would not be detected by the miner. I actually had to install the driver 
after those crashes so bear that in mind now this is going to get better over time with with amd updating drivers but just keep that in mind if your driver crashes you may have to restart or reinstall the driver uh and so on and so forth so with firo uh mtp algo 2.4 mega hash was the best i could get dropping down the core to 1800 bumping up the mem to 2200 and that was about 100 watts at the wall with fast timings and you could tell that i labeled default timings fast timing so on and so forth so you can compare and contrast again more images actually this image right here uh, i have pictures of this that will be below at the very bottom and you can see the various algos that are not supported bcd not sure if anybody cares beam hash 3 i did test but i didn't test with lol miner and awesome miner pointed my eyes to it so it's 13.28 hashes at 135 watts uh, you can see all the other algos blake 2b blake 2s bmw didn't work so i'm not sure what algos some people are looking for and what algos uh some people really care about but i think i pretty much got the big ones you're just gonna have to look through these images and determine for yourself now this is stock clocks with the memory bumped up to 2200 megahertz so yeah the power draw is going to range anywhere from 125 all the way up to i saw 180 at one point yeah 182 uh when we were mining kapow or ravencoin uh but again you can do some tuning and kind of go from there these are just the basic information i do plan on doing a teardown of this gpu so make sure you stay tuned to my channel uh but that is the basic data for you in summary the card is pretty efficient and mining is basically a more efficient rx 580 um, and with uh, a little bit more capabilities and it's right up there with the 5600 XT depending on the algo yeah it may be able to beat it like in ergo uh, but again I can't validate that unless somebody provides that data to us uh, but it does uh, not win against the 5600 XT in Ethereum as far as efficiency or hash per watt but that's gonna do it for me today please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel as well as check out some of the links down below like uh, to dojelord.com where you get this merch uh from the serpent x collection and you all have yourself a great day take care i'll catch you next one mm -hmm.